Dear friends, my name is Fredrik Lindegren and I worked as artistic director for the European Capital of Culture 2014 in the city of Umeå. And today I work as head of cultural affairs in the same city and actually, as I speak, in a legacy from the European Capital of Culture inside the Museum of Women History. It is, of course, an honor to be a part of the Tartu Conference to share our experiences, both as related capitals and also with our history that we have together. The question for the conference is how to attract a European audience. And my answer would be find the mythological connection. If you compare a European capital of culture with, for example, an Olympic game, or a World Cup of some sort, there are many similarities. Maybe most of all, to attract a large audience. And this is usually no problem for a World Cup of sports of any sorts, because the knowledge about the topics are well known. The audience are fully aware of what to expect, and the rules are well known since there is a long tradition of a common thought about the general idea. A game of football, for example, isn't all of a sudden played with a basketball, even if it would be interesting, at least for a while. On the other hand, the European capital culture, the content, is unknown materia to a vast majority. As an audience, you don't really know what to expect until you get it, unless the artistic and cultural idea connect on a mythological level. This is critical if you want to reach beyond language and borders. The content must be relevant to a lot of people if you want to reach a lot of people. Being a European capital of culture today is a complicated matter. You have to connect to the citizens, make friends with the local cultural life, be interesting to all ages, satisfy restaurants and hotels, make the politicians shine, the artists happy, and are expected to attract thousands of European visitors to a city that is, to be honest, unknown to most people outside the region and the country. It's tough luck. And for the city of Umeå, no exceptions. Our best experience from attracting European audience was when we connected on a mythological common ground. I will give you two examples. First, the overarching story of the program year. For us, it was to connect to the Sami culture that is the only indigenous people of Europe. It helped us to make the citizens aware of our own common history, as well as attract others to be curious, wanting to know more. Most important was the possibility for artists with Sami background to present their contemporary work. The program year was built on the eight seasons of the Sami calendar, containing an educational narrative, including both dates and emotions. It was presented like this. The eight circles are the eight seasons. And you can see it started with the season of caring, continued with the season of awakening, the season of returning, growing, contemplation, the season of harvesting, desire, and the journey. And each season had an opening, an opening event to remind citizens and others what was going on. My second example is the largest performing act during the year, except from the opening, the Outdoor Electra Opera by Richard Strauss. It was a joint collaboration between the city of Umeå as a European capital of culture and our major institution, Norlands Opera, the Opera House in cooperation with the Catalonian company La Fura dels Baus. The key to the success was not the spectacular staging of the opera in itself, but the culture weave that with different types of historical and mythological threads and narrative that connected to a lot of people from different angles. There is a misunderstanding that spectacular events attract visitors from abroad. They usually don't. What attracts an audience is the connectivity. The success of Electra had three main ingredients. 
first the story, based on an ancient Greek mythology and Sophocles' tragedy Electra. While well, Sophocles certainly found an effective dramatic vehicle in this remarkable figure Electra, driven by deprivation, cruelty, into near psychotic, narcissistic extremes of behavior. Does it sound familiar, 2020? The staging. The director used the story of Electra to visualize the cruelty of all the wars that have been significant for the European history. The set was soaked in a blood-red Mediterranean sea situated in an old military facility in the center of Umeå. The Trojan War was from the libretto connects to the European wars that the city of Umeå actually with the military facility was a part of, including the Great Nordic War with battles in Narva and Poltava. Let's call it a cruel European dimension. And finally, the cooperation. The choice of play in the cooperation between Norlands Operan in Umeå and the production company in Spain made an impact, and the big media houses followed both the production and the outcome. The North-South connection was an easy headline and gained both international readers as well as visitors. This leads to the conclusion. Try to find connectivity and cooperation rather than standing out as spectacular. Choose a topic that is relevant to many, but don't be afraid of being edgy and artistic. Invite others to be a part of your work and don't be protective. Make it a European multicultural event. Or look at it this way. How many international visitors would an Olympic game reach with contenders only from one single country. Thank you for taking part of this short speech. I hope you enjoyed it. On behalf of the city of Umeå, see you soon for some questions and a fruitful dialogue.